as I took this, when I went to... Yeah. There you go. It broke on me, literally. All right, guys, I am back. So, I've been gone for about five days, haven't been able to vlog anything. As you guys know that follow me on Instagram, I actually went to Vegas for some business. And I did take my camera to vlog, but there's a problem. As I took this, when I went to... Yeah. There you go. It broke on me, literally, as I took it out of my bag when I was going to vlog, start vlogging. Totally sucks. Um, good thing I have warranty on it. It's just going to take a couple... Maybe like a week or, or two. I don't know. But yeah, finally broke my G7X. Totally sucks, man. I love this camera. It's very easy and it's good on low light. And it would work really good right now, especially because of how cloudy it is. I mean, we've been getting so much rain out here in California. So it's really rare when we get this kind of rain like this. I mean, it's, this is, it's pouring to us, right? Oh yeah, super pouring. Like, look at this. I don't know how much the, um, the camera will pick up, but we got little Miss Aubrey over there. How's the water over there? Feels good. I'm sure it feels really yeah. good. Yeah. Big thunderstorms and stuff, and it's been all cloudy. So I have to use my new camera that's not good on low light. So I have some lights coming out to the back. So if you guys can see a different look to it, because I'm using a new camera, which should be a little clearer in a way, but these lights right there are just like killing me. And yes, guys, there is a box right there. So there is going to be an unboxing in this video. So that's what happened, I was in Vegas, and just couldn't vlog, get a vlog because of the camera. It broke, and I tried to use my phone, but I have so much stuff in here, so much memory. I mean, so much memory to use that I can't, I couldn't do anything, literally. I mean, I have so much pictures, so much videos of my kids. What I do need to do is back it up and put it in my cloud and get some free storage in here, so I could, you know, so I could use it in since, you know, in the last minute situation like I did, like I needed to use it the other day. So yeah, Vegas was fun. I uh, didn't really get to party too much, a lot of business. So I, but I got to go out and gamble a little, which I did really good in roulette. As a matter of one of these, one night totally killed it, man. It was really, really cool. I'm not a big gambler or anything, but I did have a great time and I made a couple of dollars out of it. So I yeah, so today we're gonna do an unboxing and the unboxing is right there. And it's from Mike Friedman from the Florida Reptile Ranch. So he calls me the other day and you guys know he's a good friend of mine. You know, I was over there with him at Daytona Helping them out a little, you know, or a lot. I say a little. I was usually just walking around and stuff like that. But he's like, hey, man, I have some snakes for you. And I was like, oh, dude, like, you know, what kind of snakes? Send me a lot of normals or, <laughs> or what? And he goes, no, man, I think some snakes are, I'm going to send some snakes out your way. So I hope you like them. I honestly don't know what they are. I'm curious. He says that I need them. Um, so let's wait and see. Um. Who doesn't like to get a package of snakes, especially when you're not trying to, you know. I wasn't looking to do any more unboxings for a while. But yeah, let's get going guys and see what these snakes are all about. Alright guys, let's get this unboxing going. So again, this is um, from Mike from the Florida Reptile Ranch. And there's four snakes in here. I'm really excited to see what he sent. I hope he sent me a super mandarin. That would be pretty cool. Right, so let me get this camera here more so I get some better lighting. Let me see. He would not put names on them. Again, sorry guys, I'm trying to fix this camera, get the best lighting possible. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what this first snake is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
So, it's funny. When we're over there, I kept on telling them, hey man, I need one of these, blah, blah, blah. So right here we have an albino pied. Look at this guy. Kind of like a little emoji right here. If you guys could see it. A nice albino pied. Dude, thanks man. Let me just check him real quick. And it's a boy. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, Mike. Hope you guys are having a great day as always. Have a long day today. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's sending me the snakes I kept on bugging him about over there. Oh, that is funny. Right here we have a pinstripe cypress and she is yep yeah, this i know for a fact it's a female because i kept on bugging him about this and i'm gonna do a better um i'll get their uh what's it called uh, individual uh, pictures on them so i can do it's so like as you can see the shadow kind of hits it a little bit right here because the light nope, it's still there again a pinstripe cypress a beautiful girl and again, guys, I'll do an individual um, video on this because I get a better look of them. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right here we have another pinstripe. This right here is a bamboo pinstripe. And it's also in shed. And it's a female. Wow. Mike, you are spoiling the hell out of me, brother. Thank you, man. That is freaking sweet, dude. Wow. Okay, sorry. Holy moly. Oh, this has this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right here we have a lavender snow. Check this out. Focus. A lavender snow, guys. Wow. All right, and right here, it's a female. All right guys, so let me take an individual uh, picture of them so you get the shadow away from them and go from there. All right guys, so we'll start off with the lavender snow female, right here. See if we get her come on, zoom in a little bit. Wow man, look how pretty she is. Beautiful, beautiful female lavender snow. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. And next we have the pinstripe cypress female. Look at how beautiful she is. Man, these snakes are freaking awesome, dude. I remember I kept on bugging him about this at the um, Daytona show. Felt really in love with her. Just love how the cypress and the pinstripe work together. Let's go for the next one. All right, and the next one is a female bamboo pinstripe. I really like pinstripes, man. They're such pretty snakes. Love what they do. Again, guys, a bamboo pinstripe. On to the next one. All right, guys. And last but not least, the albino pied. The male albino pie. Definitely gonna have to use this guy. I'm actually cutting a, a clutch this on Sunday of uh, albino pies. Hopefully, I use an albino het pie to a double head albino pie female. She only gave me three eggs, but you never know. Could get something out of that. But definitely this male right here 
would definitely increase my odds with those double head albino pied females. These are pretty good size too. So, all right guys, let me weigh these guys out and put them in their tubs in. Well, I hope you guys liked the unboxing. I did, uh, it was awesome. Mike, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate you sending me those snakes. I hope you don't, um, actually, you know what? Please send me some more. That was freaking awesome, dude. I literally felt like a kid in the candy store as I'm, as store as I'm opening them. I just wish I had some recording so it could be a little nicer and cooler and I could get better shots instead of doing one and then one afterwards. But um, I forgot to mention, guys, this video right here, guys, is the snake giveaway we're gonna do it at 4,000 subscribers and we're gonna give away an awesome awesome snake can't tell you what snake it is yet but i'll tell you right now it's gonna be freaking awesome so guys make sure you comment down below like make sure you're already a subscriber and share it share it to someone you guys want other than that guys uh i will be out there in timley and you know i can't wait to meet more people new faces some people i only know through YouTube to actually you know get to finally meet them and talk I love to talk and I love to meet new people so I'm very excited about that and we have some actually some really cool things coming up a couple things with Brian Cusco that I've been talking to we might do another little collaboration and something with Brian Burchick I have to keep it in the in the low low but it's something really really cool that we're that we've been talking almost on the daily working it out so Cross your fingers and wish me luck, man. I'm very, very excited about that. I don't want to make this video too short, so let's show off some cool snakes, yeah? So right here, guys, we have a spot nose leopard, 100% head clown female. She just shed on us yesterday, and she literally is at 1,020 grams. I mean, I had this little girl when she was 250 grams, and look at her now. Look how beautiful she looks, man. Can't wait to put my, my pastel um, spot nose, yellow belly clown to her. Hopefully I get some Batman litter this one. That'll be sick just to get one Batman. I'll be totally, totally happy. But yeah, right here is a spot nose. Oh man, she just fights the little thing. Spot nose um, leopard. Right here we have a leopard 100% hat clown. As you can see this one, has a big black stripe on her back. She's so pretty. Again, guys, a leopard head clown. Another one that's putting on some weight that I already have at 400 grams, like 440, is this Mandarin male right here. This guy is one of my best eaters. And right here, a Mandarin male. You guys know orange is my favorite color. Beautiful, beautiful guy. Another one up to weight is my male freeway. And this guy has a couple of yellow belly inches waiting for him. I want to, I really, really want to get a Marty girl so bad. Really fell in love with them, love the way they look. And he right now is at 700 grams. So he'll definitely be ready. Again, my male freeway. Another one that just shed out was my Mojave GHI, 100% head pied. The sister still in shed. They literally shed almost at the same time. One will shed a little sooner than the other one. Look how beautiful she is, and look at that nice little ringer right here. Now, this snake is not a snake that I show so often, but she also had her around 400 grams. And right here we have a pewter leopard, 100% head pied. To get a better look of her. I love her colors, man. She is so pretty. And she's at 1,200 grams, believe it or not. It's a big girl already, man. She'll definitely be ready for this season. Again, this is a pewter leopard, 100% head pied female. Looking at the screen so I could take a look at her, her, <laughs> her color. And look, she's actually getting into shed. You can see by her eyes, so she actually looks a lot prettier than this. Check out this female right here. Right here we have a super pastel yellow belly spark. Again, a super 
that snake was getting at. A super pastel yellow belly spark. Well, pretty much super pastel puma is what we have right here. She's also around 1,000 grams. She's one of my best eaters also. This girl just eats any time, man. Sweet. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Man, it's so hot over here. All the lights and stuff like that. Lights just hitting me, it's just, it's killing me. But um, that's pretty much it right there. Thank you guys very much again, man. Sorry it took so long to vlog again, but I'm gonna get the camera fixed and we'll be getting the, uh, back to the daily vlog. But I will be using this in the meantime. I just try to get another uh, tripod for it to make it a little easier. So till next time guys, good luck to everyone and everyone have a good day. Bye.